brunch with the girls a few mimosas this is giving love yours Hey guys, it's Chandler Alexis and I'm back with another video and I'm so excited. I've been thinking about it in my head for quite some time and I finally realized like this is a video y'all need to see. Today, I'm going to be doing a try on haul, but this one's a little bit different. I have been changing my style. As you can see, this is my closet. We're in my walk-in wardrobe right now and it is filled with clothes, but to be honest, I'm probably going to be getting rid of a lot of them because I realized that as time has gone by, I've kind of fallen into trends and buying into trends that aren't necessarily me, but I have finally figured out my style and I want to share it with you guys and also give you a few tips on how to figure out your style. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you're not subscribed already, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. I have this huge bag of Fashion Nova items to show you that I recently picked out to like start over my wardrobe starting off with this top i really love this top i'm really into black neutrals nudes creams beige whites that this is the top on and i just love the way that this fits and i love that you can either have the corset out or you can tuck it into the pants for like a more modest look so the name of this top is loving the night satin corset and i got this in a size large because i read the reviews and a lot of people were saying to size up and i'm so glad i did because little do you know it's not even zipped up in the back because I can't zip it up on my own it's that tight on me I usually wear a size medium but I love like the fit of the large my boyfriend usually will just help me zip it up when he's home but he's not currently here so I had to leave it unzipped in the back it does fit and I just think it's so cute this is the next item that I picked out from Fashion Nova and this is me this is me in a jacket I knew that my style was a little bit more on the dark side when I got this jacket and I fell in love with it. I literally wear it all the time in my vlogs and I get asked where it's from all the time. It is from the men's section and I ordered a medium even though technically in men's stuff I should order a small for it to fit me but I wanted it to feel like oversized and like I'm wearing my boyfriend's jacket. The name of this jacket is Sad Times Zip Up Hoodie. This is the hoodie on. It is a zip up and uh, I just think this looks so good on me. It's just nice and oversized and I love throwing this on when I just need to run like some quick errands or in the morning if we go out somewhere and it's freezing. This is the jacket I take with me. These are the Valentina high rise flare jeans. I needed some new jeans because <laughs> all of my jeans are like trendy jeans so they're either like cargo or like very colorful jeans so i just need some plain ones and some new ones and honestly who doesn't need a new fresh pair of jeans every year so let's try these on i love the fit of these like they fit perfectly there's no extra space in the back i am wearing my usual size which is size seven and they fit snug i would say if you are like in between sizes definitely go like a size up because they are like snug on me which isn't bad i am a little bloated i just had dinner so it's okay they are boot cut i'm five foot four and they're like a little bit longer so i like that because that means i can wear heels with these comfortably and they're not like flooding they are tight on the thighs which i personally like i know some people don't but i just think it hugs my body nicely i got another pair of jeans these are called the made in heaven hyper stretch boot cut jeans i love these jeans i wouldn't necessarily say they're like boot cut but I wouldn't necessarily say they're straight like either because they are like more tight on the thigh area than the bottom. But these are such cute jeans to wear like with an oversized tee. They fit nicely once again. There's no extra space on the back, but I do love that they kind of angle down on the back area because it makes my butt look bigger. <laughs> but they do fit nicely. I got these in a size 7 once again the waist is nice and snug these ones aren't as tight as the last ones i just had on but again they just fit perfectly i love these and i definitely will be like wearing these 
a lot. This is the textured halter mini dress and I will say off the bat I'm a little disappointed. Online this dress kind of looks like it's like raindrops like a giving a raindrop effect on the dress but in person it's more of like a cloth and you can like clearly tell like looking at it, it looks like cloth not raindrops. I think on camera from far away it kind of looks like it's giving off that illusion but i don't know i was just expecting something different but i will say i told you guys i was going to give you tips on how to figure out your style and the way that i figured out my style was buying things out of my comfort zone and if i put it on i didn't feel like myself or i didn't feel comfortable i realized that's probably not my style and so i can probably say that about a lot of things in my closet i kind of just wore them because they were trendy not because i necessarily liked them the color of this dress is actually out of my comfort style i don't own a pink dress <laughs> this is my first pink dress i've ever owned turns out i'm actually going to a barbie movie premiere type of event this is like the perfect dress to wear there so i'm actually gonna be dressing it up like more girly than edgy but it works this is the dress on and i actually really like it on it's definitely cute. It's still not giving that illusion effect that I wanted it to give, but it's still a cute dress. And I think I can definitely make this a look when it's time to go to that event. And also it's really comfortable, like 10 out of 10 for how comfortable this dress is. Usually when I'm in a dress, I feel like I just want to go home and put on some sweats. But this actually feels like I'm wearing sweats in like a dress form, if that makes sense. Like it's very comfy. I'm happy I bought it. Probably won't wear it again after the Barbie event, but it's still cute. This is the Broken Hearts hoodie and it's actually from the men's line again. I actually picked this out for like my boyfriend to wear, but for me to borrow. Does that make sense? Because I do that a lot and he doesn't get it. But it makes sense in my head. Like I will literally go to stores and pick out items that are like his, but I want to be able to wear them. <laughs> So that's what I've done today. I've picked out this hoodie for him to have, but for me to be able to steal and wear. And I just thought this was a cool like black hoodie. It says love is never lost on the front. And then on the back, it says broken hearts club. We're definitely not broken hearted over here, but I just thought it was a cute design. I'm actually naked right now, but I had to share this tip with you guys. Buy one of these off Amazon. I'll link mine down below, but you literally just put this over your head whenever you have makeup on i look ridiculous you just put it on so that when you put clothes on you don't get makeup on them and i just think it's a life hack that every girl who wears makeup needs to know about <laughs> unzip and just like that no makeup on the hoodie i love this hoodie but i think i ordered a size too small i ordered it in a medium and i probably should have ordered like a large or an extra large i just love things i can lounge in and especially a black hoodie can't go wrong there like that's just a cute vibe to me another item i ordered from the fashion of a men's section and it's a t-shirt and this is called the lucky club short sleeve tee it looks like this on the front and then on the back which is the reason i caught it it's got a girl in a martini glass i thought this would be like a nice t-shirt for my boyfriend once again to have in his collection but for me to be able to steal it's obviously like really long if i were to pull it down like this but i would not be wearing it like this i would just like have it kind of maybe like tucked into one side of my pants or maybe tucked into my bra for like a cropped look. It does look like I stole my boyfriend's t-shirt, especially with the martini girl on the back of it. I really like this and I will definitely be stealing this from my boyfriend's closet. I think I just like to say that I stole my boyfriend's clothes, but in reality it's my clothes that I let him wear. <laughs> Next, I got this two-piece set and it is called out for the day ribbed pant set it's just a black set which i thought was a staple again for like loungewear or just like going to get groceries run errands like that type of thing this is the two-piece set on and i love this set a staple in my lounge collection i personally think they're so comfortable i did read some of the reviews saying like they're tight and they are tight just so you know and they are like a thicker type of fabric it's not a thin fabric at all so just keep that in mind if you purchase it you could wear this in the summer like if you're in the house and it's not too hot and you have ac or you could wear it in the winter and just like layer it with a coat layer it with a sweater on top i don't know i just think they're perfect i love dressing them up with heels or dressing them down with sneakers either way they're cute the bottoms are long so you can definitely like wear heels and you'll be fine and i'm definitely gonna order this in like more colors because i need 
every single color. It's just so cute. It snatches my body nicely, snatches me in all the right places. So super cute. I'm really happy about this one. I forgot to mention that I got this set in a size medium. I ordered another two-piece set. This one is in a cream and it's actually pleather. <laughs> which is like fake leather. <laughs> I thought this would be a look. What is this thing called? This set is called the Turning Heads Faux Leather Pant Set. And I hope that when I have it on, I do turn heads. By the way, this is what happens when you choose not to wear that like net on your face when you get changed because I was being lazy and was like, you know what? I don't care, I'm gonna just take it off. And now my shirt has makeup on it and needs to be washed because it's not coming out. This two-piece set is giving everything that it needed to give because the girls look great I don't feel like I'm being suffocated I was obviously able to zip this up on my own and I actually do love that the zipper is on the side I think it just adds a little bit of detailing because obviously otherwise this is just like a plain cream fit but the way that this fits is chef's kiss these pans are god sent I look like a bottle of milk if I do say so myself. I think these are so cute. They are long as well, so definitely he'll approved. I'm turning heads with this. My man would love this. I'm so sad he's not here to see this because this is a vibe. I love buying two-piece sets because I love that you can definitely wear like different pants with the top or wear a different top with the pants. So I really like that. As well as these pants do have like a place to wear a belt like they have the little belt loops so you could put on a cute little belt with this as well tuck the the top in you know make it a little bit more work appropriate i mean i don't recommend wearing this to work but you can definitely change up the look of it which i really like or style it separately so 10 out of 10 recommend this is a cute night out outfit as well i even like this as an outfit for brunch brunch with the girls a few mimosas this is giving speaking of being able to like mix and match the top and the pants i'm going to try on these pair of pants these are called the deep in my soul flare jeans and i got them in a size 7 i needed a pair of black jeans i only have trendy jeans like i have a pair of black jeans with a dragon down them don't ask. So I need a pair of black ones. Hopefully these fit nicely and are cute on me. I'm already liking the fill of these. It's like a wax jean. Like it's very nice quality. Like I would say this is probably the nicest quality of jeans that I have out of the ones I've like tried on so far. So that's a good sign. 10 out of 10 recommend. I have to kind of like lift the top so you can clearly see them. They kind of fit like those first pair of blue jeans that I showed you. They are boot cut so they would be cute with heels and I actually thought these would be cute with like a pointed heel like peeking out of them. Very like business like. I would definitely recommend if you need like some nice work jeans because these are great. They're comfortable. Again, they are tight on the like thigh area and the waist area. So if you're in between sizes, size up. I got these in a size seven, so my usual size, and they still fit, fit great. Now let's change out of this top. I next got this effortless Orpheus ribbed seamless bra top in this cream color. And I thought that this would be cute to wear to the gym. I think it's very cute, but because my boobs are so big, I don't think I could do much like working out. Like any hardcore workouts, they're definitely going to just like pop out of this thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. But it is a cute top. I actually think I would probably just dress it up with like a daytime outfit because I could wear this like to go get brunch with the girls. If I had like a cream skirt or something, I think would look really cute with this. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, do you think I could dress this top up even though it's like a sports bra? It has padding in it, but obviously you could take it out if you want to. I sometimes do and I sometimes don't. I think I'd probably keep it in with this one because it's like a nude color. <laughs> Just to keep some modesty to my cleavage area, you know? But if you do prefer your tops with no padding, that is an option. So that's good to know. This is what the back of it looks like. I think a plus for me is that you can kind of see my tattoo. Not really, but kind of. And I'm now realizing that I think the guy that did my tattoo did it crooked. But what am I gonna do about it now? Anyways, like this top. I do recommend it. I probably won't wear it to the gym unless I'm doing like a recovery day, but it is very cute and I'm glad I have it. We're back to our sets. This set is called Always Distressed Pants Set and I got it in a size medium. This set is definitely like a unique piece. Let me start off with saying that these pants have no stretch to them. I'm surprised I was even able 
to get them on my behind like over my butt because they were literally like you could hear it as I'm like putting it on because it was stretching the material so if you do like the set I would recommend ordering a size up maybe even two also keep in mind that the set is see-through oh yeah you can see my underwear y'all see it it's definitely see-through I think I could still pull this off but the event or like where I'm going to would have to like be a match like I couldn't just wear this to brunch or to the club I don't even think that this is like a club outfit so it would have to be like a good match when it comes to wherever I'm wearing this to I also feel like oh do you hear that there's not much movement going on in this outfit let's try this one more time I ordered a another set if you can't tell I love sets <laughs> I just think they're a good investment when it comes to your money because you're able to mix and match as much as you would like. This set is called Looking Away Linen Skirt Set and I got it in the color oatmeal and in a size medium. I love this set. I didn't know how I was going to feel about it when I put it on. I thought it would be a little too like modest for my style. Obviously I'm a wag of a footballer and I've noticed that a lot of wags wear like blazers and I've tried that. I'm not like as much of like a long blazer type of girl but I have worn like a cropped blazer like in this picture and it was cute for the event that we were at. We were at an award show but it wasn't really me you know and so this is something I feel like I could wear to something like an award show for my boyfriend's career and still feel like myself it's not showing too much cleavage it's cute it's got a little stomach you know obviously my boobs are huge but that's not something i can really hide but i think this is cute obviously you're showing a little back as well but that's okay i think this is lovely i think this is nice i'd have to ask my boyfriend if he approves not because i need his approval but because it is his career that i would be wearing something like this too and i always want to respect my partner's career like that's his job i wouldn't want him showing up to my job like an event that i have to go to butt naked like you know it's just about respect so i have to see what he says but i'm sure he'll love this i think that the length of the skirt is long enough to feel like appropriate and again i still feel like myself i think it's cute but it's more like an elevated version of myself and i could rock this i love this 10 out of 10 recommend i think it would even look better on a girl who doesn't have as much cleavage as me because since my boobs are so big it is sticking out in a few places and obviously if it was a little like that more flat you know that would be a lot cuter but 10 out of 10 recommend i'm surprised because i actually thought i wasn't gonna really feel this one that much but i love like i just mentioned i am a wag of a footballer if you don't know what a wag is it is a wife and girlfriend well it just means wife or girlfriend but wife and girlfriend of athletes and mine just happens to be a footballer which is a soccer player for my americans and i think that was like my hugest struggle when it came to figuring out what my style was because i was kind of trying to mix like my prior life of wearing like very sexy body appealing clothing mixed with now being someone's girlfriend who has like a career where my image matters for his image as well i've never had that before obviously being an influencer it's my career so the only image that mattered was my own and i was free to wear whatever i want on my youtube channel but now i'm like going to award shows and games and i want to make sure that i look appropriate and a good representation of my man so that's where my struggle kind of was when it came to like figuring out my style sense after trying on so many different looks and styles and realizing like this isn't me i finally found a mix in the middle which is like an outfit like this and also an outfit like this so this is called forever in love romper and i got it in a size medium and i've actually already tried this on so i know it looks cute but let me try it on again for you i cannot zip this up all the way that is why it's kind of like sticking out on the sides but this is what it would look like if it was zipped up all the way i know a lot of people would look at this and be like oh my god that's so short like you were talking about being appropriate for your man's place of work and then you put on the shortest little dress Ever, but you would be wrong because it's not a dress it's a romper so it's literally shorts in the back so obviously anyone would see shorts and be like oh 
that's why it's short it's a romper so i thought this was so cute especially with a pair of like white heels and i've actually tried it on for my boyfriend and he loved it he was like that is so cute it looks very professional but at the same time sexy which is me and so at the end of the day i realized that my body gives off like sex appeal and I'm happy with the way I look and I wouldn't change it for anyone. So obviously a lot of items that a girl with a flat chest will put on might look a lot different on her than it does on me. I'm a huge fan of this. If you don't like it, I don't care. I honestly have a lot more clothing that I ordered that I could show you, but this video is already so long. So if you want a part two of everything I ordered, I can definitely do that for you guys. But for now, I'm going to move on to the shoes. First pair of shoes. These are the give me a call healed mules and i got these in my usual size which is an eight and a half these are the hills and i love a pointed hill but i also love to be comfortable which is why i ordered a mule so a mule just means that it's a little bit shorter than your usual stiletto and for me this is like my hugest tip i've given it a lot on my channel if you're a girl who walks a lot in hills or you know you have to be somewhere for a long time buy mules because they're a lot more comfortable it literally feels like you're wearing kind of like a flip-flop i mean obviously not really but similar it doesn't hurt so i love these especially because like i told you guys i do go to my boyfriend's football games and i do wear heels to them sometimes and i want to be comfortable especially if i'm going to be on my feet for a long time so these are perfect i love that your toe still peeps out of these because I have a cute pedicure and sometimes I want to be able to show it off. I've just tried them on as well and they do fit perfectly, like literally on the dot. So if they are out of your size, order a size up and you will still fit them perfectly fine. Next pair of heels, these are the Future Is Now Heeled Mules. And I ordered these in a size eight. I was reading the reviews and a lot of people were saying to order a size down. Also, I got them in the color silver. They do come in pink as well, which are adorable, but again pink's not really like my fashion color they actually sold out of my like original size eight and a half but like i said i then went to the comments and everyone was saying to order a size down anyways like half a size down so i was like oh perfect they have my size which is an eight this is the shoe i know this might not be everybody's taste but i love a unique hill i think that a hill that stands out from all the rest is like a statement piece like you have to have them and that's been like my interest lately when it comes to style is just shoes that look different so this is what it looks like it kind of looks like you're stepping in like a silver puddle that has like magnetized to the shoe but moment of truth let me try it on and it fits they were right fits perfectly order half a size down these next pair of heels i've already worn so let me figure out what they are called okay these are the all four wedges in black and i ordered them in a size eight and a half once again i love a unique hill i love a hill that not a lot of girls are going to be wearing especially on a night out so this is what it looks like these are I would say these are mules once again they're not stilettos um and they do have more support because of the way that they're structured and these were so comfortable like y'all can see i've worn them right i wore these to dinner with my boyfriend and then afterwards we went on a night out and i was never in pain these were so comfortable and i love these these are actually one of my favorite pieces i've worn them actually a few times now i'm not gonna lie so 10 out of 10 recommend i can give these a chef's kiss love these heels and they're so cute with jeans as well the next pair of heels are called take care of you pumps and i ordered them in the color white and a size eight and a half now i'm not gonna lie my boyfriend definitely made fun of me because he was like damn those are huge but honestly once you pair them under some pants you can't even tell that they're like they look so big and honestly they only look so big because they are a pointed heel so a lot of this your toes not even touching it's just to give that point outside of like underneath your jean but i do love these and i especially love that as you can see they are a strapped heel so you know sometimes when you wear heels and like the back of them kind of hurt your heel these don't do that because they are just a strap one so your heels actually like free to breathe and i love that i also needed a pair of white pointed heels because i didn't have any and i styled these on a tiktok so if you want to see that tiktok i will link it down below but i just thought these were so cute and i can't wait to actually wear them outside of my house and my last pair of heels for this video and the last item in this video are my 
Georgiana pumps in rose gold in a size eight and a half. Once again, I ordered these to fit underneath jeans. Now these are a full on heel, like these are stilettos. Do you see how tall these are compared to like this? I don't know how to show you guys, oh like back to back, okay? Do you see the height difference in that? So just know that, but I needed like a more professional type of heel for like meetings or events for my boyfriend, anything like that. And I thought a rose gold one was again unique, which is me. You know, not everyone is gonna have a rose gold heel. I thought these would look cute under some black jeans. So I'm really excited to wear these. I haven't gotten a chance to yet, but the time will soon come and they do fit true to size. So just order your usual size. That is everything that I ordered in well, that's not everything, <laughs> but if you want to see a part two, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment. That is everything I'm going to show you for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope my tips helped you on discovering your personal style. This video was not sponsored. I wasn't asked to make this YouTube video, but I do love Fashion Nova's clothing. So I did want to like show y'all some stuff that I have been recently ordering to change up my wardrobe. So hopefully you guys like the items I picked and if you want to shop any of them, I will leave the links to everything down below. But thank you for tuning in to my video and I will see you in my next one. I love you guys and I'm signing out. Bye! Tell me what you see in me Gotta be